Florida, July 1969. The early morning calm is rocked by a massive explosion. The blast, as powerful as 200 tons of TNT, heralds the start of one of the greatest endeavors in history, the first mission to the moon. Tower cleared. We all think we know the tale of Apollo 11's triumphant success. But behind this legend lies a very different story. The untold account of how close the mission came to tragedy. Now, nearly 40 years later, men on that famous adventure reveal what really happened on the first voyage to the moon. We discover how the lunar module lost all contact with Earth and was almost out of fuel, heading for a boulder-filled crater. How astronauts believe they encountered a UFO in deep space, an event covered up until now. Classified documents show how President Nixon prepared an emergency speech when fears grew that the crew would get stranded. And we reveal how ultimately the crew only returned alive thanks to a ballpoint pen. This is the true, untold story of Apollo 11's mission to the moon. It is July 16th, four hours before blastoff. Since early morning, Apollo 11's crew have been preparing for the most dangerous mission in history the first lunar landing. In the crew room, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Mike Collins eat a final meal before making the last checks to their suits and equipment. But behind this facade of calm, tension was running high. Buzz Aldrin, the mission's lunar pilot, recalls the nerves the crew all felt. I can't recall getting all that much sleep uh, knowing what was going to be happening the next day. There was enough adrenaline uh, floating around in the crew quarters, I'm sure, for several missions to the moon. The crew were right to feel nervous. What they didn't know was that on the launch pad, technicians were struggling with a dangerous fault on the giant Saturn V rocket. The Saturn V was the heaviest, most powerful rocket ever built. It was packed with a million gallons of highly explosive fuel, and it had sprung a leak. 120 feet below, technicians still working on a leaking valve that replenishes the hydrogen fuel supply for the Saturn V rocket. Fuel leaks had plagued the Saturn V throughout its development. One stray spark on the launch pad could destroy the rocket and its crew. Gene Kranz, the flight director monitoring the countdown at Mission Control in Houston, was well aware of the risks. A space mission will never be routine because you're putting uh, three humans on top of an enormous amount of high explosive. But solving dangerous problems against the clock was part of the deal for the space program. The rocket had to leave on schedule. For years, the Apollo team had been working exhausting hours to fulfill the dream of President John F. Kennedy. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Well, I was working 20-hour days for weeks, so it was a rather hectic and a very busy time. T-minus 2 hours, 33 minutes, 45 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control. With the minutes ticking away, 
technicians armed with special monkey wrenches seem to have fixed the hydrogen leak. NASA decided to give the go for launch. Apollo 11 would blast off on time. The swing arm now coming back to its fully retracted position. T minus four minutes, 50 seconds and counting. We felt that our survival was in the probability of 99 percent. Four minutes and counting, we are go for Apollo 11. There were a lot of risks involved, but there were a lot of points to abort the mission short of continuing on something risky. The crew had been told that should a leak cause an engine to fail on blast off, their capsule would be ejected to safety far from the failing rocket. What the crew had been told was not the truth. Damning information in a memo publicly revealed here for the first time was circulated to a few select NASA officials a year before the mission. It revealed that this escape plan was mere fantasy. There was a memo that came out about the first stage which indicated that contrary to all of the training that the crew were being given and the information they were told, we would not be able to save the lives of the crew if something went wrong during the first two and a half minutes after liftoff. The abort system needed two seconds from the detection of a catastrophic failure to activate the launch escape system. The vehicle, if one engine had gone out on the first stage, within half a second the vehicle would have begun to break up. There would have been no means of wrenching the crew to safety off the top of what would very soon have been an ascending fireball. Totally unaware of this devastating fact, the astronauts prepared for launch. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. The explosive potential, if it exploded on the launch pad, would have wiped out a fair port of Florida. 20 seconds and counting. I always say a prayer for the crew and for my mission control team that we'll be successful in the work that we are about to do. T minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal. I said, I really want to try and remember this moment before all the excitement. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. astronauts were unwitting players in a massive gamble. At stake were their lives.